What is a letter of intent? Letter of intent. Uh, so, um, some people refer to them as acronym LOI, letter of intent. Letter of intent means uh, it is a non-obligatory method of a buyer initiating a proposal to get a feel for what the seller wants. So, um, if we have these are very useful in commercial transactions and uh, and large land transactions, large land transactions that are going to probably be converted into a subdivision. So, we uh, letter of intent says, okay, this is your purchase price. Um, this is what we're probably uh, going to rezone it for. This is probably our intended use. This is probably how long it's going to take for us to get site plan approval. Uh, these are the different steps. This, these are the deposits that we are willing to make. And this is when we're willing to release those deposits. And so <clears throat> there are so many moving parts in a big land transaction that's gonna get approved for a subdivision that you know, rather than go back and forth and negotiate all these details, you just lay it out there. And then it's the seller's responsibility to come back and say, this is what we like, this is what we don't like. We can do that as a, as a formal response to the LOI, or we can do it as a memo to buyer. Memo to buyer is a little bit less um, uh, of a um, walk away. So, you know, we're not as obligated or whatever. <clears throat> One of the things is that, um, you know, people think, well, LOIs have no obligations whatsoever. They do, I mean, they have, like the seller is obligated like, uh, so an LOI where the obligation comes is very interesting. So you agree on all the terms of the LOI and you say, all right, we've worked it all out. Well, then uh, the buyer has an expense to hire an attorney to write out this um, offer to purchase. And that could take, it should take two to three days, but it could take three to five days. And so they're going through all the expense of writing out this beautiful long contract. And in the meantime, you get sideswiped by a superior offer. You you have a uh, that buyer now has damages is if they if they in good faith you agree to the LOI and they're actually writing up the L, the offer to purchase. You're not open to receive other offers there. You have to give them the opportunity to actually write the purchase agreement.